Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to another episode of FF Beer Bros. The show brought to you by patreon.com slash superbeerbros. You guys can pay us money to do whatever you want. Argon John decided, you know what, Gerard? I want you and the team to read fan fiction. So, we're having a sleepover. <laughs> this story is called Sleepy Time for Baby <laughs> Gerard. I hope that's it's very straightforward. <laughs> Story by Jamie Orr. Thank you, Pictures Jamie. by Nobody. As Gerard walked out of the recording studio, he felt his eyes start to droop closed. He was just so tired. The most recent series on Beard Bros was definitely a hit. Somehow both fun for the whole team and suitable for YouTube's algorithm. But he and Alex, Fantasy. that's what a hit is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, the, if, the, if the algorithm's good on it, and we're like, I am not offended by this. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. But he and Alex both had poured so much time into it that Gerard could hardly remember the last time he slept. Though he would have loved to get some rest, there was still recording for the completionist to be done. Realistic uh, story. Damn, does this guy work here? Yeah, he knows. This he guy knows. <laughs> Gerard made his way to the proper recording room and sat down on the couch to go over his script. Gerard decided to close his eyes for just a moment while he waited, but after only a few seconds, he succumbed to sleep. Wow, they really do work here. When Gerard started to come to, it was to cooing noises. <laughs> what? Gerard <laughs> mumbled, blearily opening his eyes. He blinked a few times, and Alex and Chris's faces slowly coming into view above him. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry guys, I guess I was a little more tired than I thought. Let's get stuck. Ooh! Gerard cut off mid-sentence as he tried to sit up, but found himself immediately yanked back down by cuffs on his wrists. Oh, we're uh -oh. He looked down to examine the restraints, only to notice that he had been changed into a onesie <laughs> and was laying in what looked to be... <laughs> oh my god. He was laying in what looked to be an adult-sized crib. <laughs> Looking back up at Alex and Chris, <laughs> looking back up at Alex and Chris, he laughed. Okay, guys, great joke. I'm a baby. <laughs> I get it, but let me out so we can get to work. <laughs> at oh. this, oh man, <laughs> a smirk appeared on Alex and Chris's faces. Nope. Alex chirped. Our baby boy still needs more rest. He hasn't been taking good enough care of himself recently, so we had to step in. Isn't that right, mommy? Of course, daddy. Chris <laughs> replied, leaning his head on Alex's shoulder. We just want little Gerard to be as happy and healthy as possible. So I'm gonna tell you why I hate this. So, <laughs> so, so I, listen, I thought, you know, I was dumb. I was really naive and I thought, but the worst thing oh. that could possibly happen is like- Like a Rugrats scenario? No, that's the exact opposite. I thought the worst thing that could happen was um, us <laughs> fucking, right? <laughs> this is so much worse. The complete subversion and perversion oh. of our normal rose roles <laughs> is gross. Let's continue. <laughs> All right. Gerard's face transformed from humor to confusion to outright horror as his friends continue to refer to him as a baby. That is a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling anger overwhelm him, he prepared to start in on a tirade. Now you two listen here. This isn't fucking funny. We got work to do. Again, Gerard was cut off, this time by a pacifier being <laughs> shoved into his mouth. Alex quickly fastened the strap attached oh, to the oh, fire. Fuck. Oh no, he's a gimp! <laughs> he's a gimp, baby! Oh fuck! Oh shit. Uh, Alex quickly fastened the strap attached to the pacifier behind Gerard's head, making it impossible to remove the obstruction from his mouth on his own. <laughs> Little boys shouldn't use words like that. Ew. Oh God. Alex exclaimed, frowning down at Gerard. Now get some more rest. <laughs> Alex leaned down and kissed Gerard <laughs> on the forehead, then exited the room. Chris tickled Gerard's tummy and followed Please behind no. Daddy out the <laughs> no. Ew. He continued to ponder as he started to drift off yet a oh, inception. A dream within a dream. He started to drift off again. His last conscious thought was that at least he would get rest if he remained up. Baby. The end. Holy the end? shit. The is that end. the end? Is that yeah. the end? He Holy stayed a baby. That, that, okay. was a, that was chilling. Thank you, Jamie. Holy shit. Brett's Awakening by Triple Z. Oh, oh boy. 
Brett was sitting at home on the couch, bored. The day had been long, and as much as he wanted to do things, he was just too tired to think of anything. Real bored. He was already on the couch. Why couldn't he? He looked around briefly as though someone might be watching from inside his house. Peeking out the windows from where he was sitting, it didn't seem like anyone could see him. So, he reached between the couch cushions to find where he stored his secret possession, a Chris photo album. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Leafing through the pages, he witnessed the full collection in glory. Photos secretly taken at the office, screen caps from Facebook streams, images pulled from Chris's various social media accounts, you name it. Brett just couldn't get enough of that handsome devil's beautiful face. He turned a page, licking his lips, <laughs> when he heard a loud, Honk. A flash of panic spread over him and he nearly dropped the book from his hands. Recovering quickly, he hid the book back where it was safe. He then ran to the front door to see what the commotion was. Sitting outside were Alex and Gerard on their tandem scraper bike. <laughs> The newlyweds <laughs> looked over at Brett expectantly. <laughs> newlyweds? What the heck are you guys doing here? I thought work was over for the day. Brett asked. We have a little surprise for you. Come with us. Gerard replied. His voice had a little bit of a tease in it. Mm. Brett was exhausted, but also curious. So he decided to bite. He's exhausted from all that sitting and <laughs> looking. Pining <laughs> over Chris's young Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, but how am I supposed to ride with you guys? There's only two seats. Brett asked. Don't worry. Gerard and I will both ride up front, Alex replied. Alex never broke eye contact as he moved over to the front and slid onto Gerard's <laughs> lap. Mm. <laughs> Brett moved to the back seat, and they were off. Yeah. The way Gerard managed to pedal flawlessly while holding his husband on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> You could tell that they've done oh this before. <laughs> After about 10 minutes of riding, oh they stopped man. in front of a house. Brett looked over and paused. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Th this is- Brett stammered. Go to him. Gerard <laughs> said, beard entangled in Alex's, a symbol of their love. Ew! Uh -huh. oh, fuck. Brett slowly climbed off the scraper bike True. and moved towards the front door. <laughs> he hesitated and then knocked. <laughs> A bleary-eyed Chris opened the door, dressed in a snowflake-covered onesie and matching night hat like a gay Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Brett, what's up? Chris asked. I... Brett stumbled over his words. I, uh... I, I, th I think I... I think I love... Um, Think you love what, Argo? Chris guessed. No, silly, it's, it's you, Brett said. He suddenly covered his mouth like he didn't mean to say it, but it was too late. There was no going back now. <laughs> oh, Brett, Chris said, a tear in his eye. I'm so happy you finally come to your senses. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? How? <laughs> How utterly presumptuous! <laughs> I'm so glad you stopped being a silly bitch. <laughs> what? Are you saying? Get over here. Chris oh. interrupted. Chris reached his hands towards Brett's sides and pulled him into a powerful kiss. Powerful. <laughs> Just like two big boys. Yeah. <laughs> Brett tensed up in surprise, but as he sat there, lips locked with Chris's, he started to relax and lean into it. Yeah. This was it. It had finally happened. This was the start of something beautiful, and Brett couldn't wait. Yay! Yay! Holy nice shit. and gay. I want to see, I wanna see nice that whole rom com. <laughs> I want to see the whole rom com. We present to you a story called Just Bros Being Dudes, and it's brought to you by the enchanting mind of Nye Wells. Thank you, Nye. What can go wrong? Gerard put the controller down and covered his face. Hey, man, ready to film? Alex asked. Gerard rubbed his face. Damn, man, I just, I just need to finish this game. Alex collapsed on the couch next to him. Ugh, I need to get out of my head. This game is driving me crazy. Alex paused. I mean, <laughs> I have an idea. Alex quietly got up and closed the door. He dimmed the light. Oh, we're probably gonna play Alien Isolation. Alex, I don't have time for a nap, dude. Gerard stood up and yelled in frustration. Ah. Alex walked back over to Gerard. 
stood in front of him, hands on his hips. I didn't say anything about a nap. Then okay. why else do you want to turn the lights out for? Gerard, I'm going to do something a little crazy, but you trust me, right? At this <laughs> point, I'm willing to try anything. <laughs> oh, shit. Alex removed himself and pushed Gerard to the couch. Gerard sat back down and looked at Alex expectantly. Alex carefully placed himself between. Oh. You know how when you're mind controlled and you, <laughs> and you and you and somebody's making you say shit you don't want to say. Yeah. yeah, keep that in mind as Gerard goes on. Okay, Alex, what the fuck are you doing? Trust, right, Gerard? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this has gotten gross. I love it. <sighs> Alex rested his hand on Gerard's thigh. Alex, seriously, I'm straight. So me too, man. Me too, <laughs> man. This is a bro job. <laughs> Completely different. It's a straight thing. I promise. I have a girlfriend. Gerard shoved Alex away. Yeah, so do I. This is a guy thing. Just guys being dudes. I see my buddy stressed out. I need a little bit of relief. You want me to just leave him like that? Fuck no. Alex tugged at Gerard's Ooh. belt. Alex! Gerard tried again. I'm fine. Fine is a dirty four-letter word that starts with F. Alex smirked. Trust, right? Gerard sighed before throwing his hands in the air. All right, but if Amanda finds out, I will strangle you. Alex nodded and pulled the belt loose. This is just a quick thing, in and out. I can't do this. You're my friend for how many years? My coworker, this is just fucking weird, bro. By this time, Alex had taken- <laughs> Yeah, well, shut up. This is beautiful. Listen. By this time, Alex had taken Gerard's cock into his hand. <laughs> uh, Alex, Alex then chuckled. Then close your eyes. <laughs> With that, Alex took Gerard into his mouth. Oh my yeah. god! What a great verb! Listen to this verb. What verb do you this think is Gerard? Too much. Was <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this they paid us money. They paid us money. What is wrong with you? With that, Why Alex took Gerard into his mouth, and Gerard hissed <laughs> and threw back his head. So Gerard is getting a, bl a bro job, and he's like. <laughs> the next sentence is the best sentence in the story. Holy shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. Oh this my is God. very I bad. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. That's actually written in there. It was warm, soft, and hot. Oh well, my God. Well, comma. <laughs> yeah. Well, he had his dick in another man's mouth. Now there's no going back. Gerard, that was a stop process. And Gerard grit his teeth and tried to focus on being quiet. They were still in the office after all. He felt himself grow. Oh my God. Inside of Alex's mouth. He cringed oh in disgust. He needed to stop thinking about Alex if he ever wanted to come. <laughs> oh my God. Alex heard Gerard hiss. Who wouldn't? Alex heard Gerard hiss and smiled to himself. I need help. He was such a good fucking friend. Yeah. He tried to think of what girls did to him. What's wrong with I'm a bro. Off before, right? Alex pulled back a bit. Oh shit. And swirled his. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we let this happen? Oh my god. <laughs> Alex pulled back a bit and swirled his tongue over the head. He oh. reached a hand up to begin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He turned his head to the side and licked up and down the shaft. <laughs> Okay, now the hard part. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alex pushed oh, down as far as he could go <laughs> until his nose was in Gerard's pubes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Gerard. He held it there as long as he could, <laughs> gagging at the unfamiliar oh, sensation. Oh, my God. Before pulling <laughs> back. This is going to make me throw up. <laughs> Great, if we get it on the camera. He heard a quiet, holy shit, grip, and grin. Gerard was making oh low moans. He had raised his hands to cover his mouth. Bros being dudes. But Alex <laughs> could still hear the breath of wines. Just bros Alex being dudes. It's just, just, just dudes being bros. Just bros being dudes, man. He felt Gerard stiffen. You okay? Asked Gerard. Alex chuckled and freed his mouth. Don't worry about me, big guy. You close? <laughs> Gerard was, Gerard was panting a little. Yeah. 
<laughs> Alex put all of his effort into getting Gerard to come. Oh my god. He used his hands god. and mouth to rub Gerard, <laughs> speeding up with his breaths. Alex thought that was very cute. But it stopped him from giving Gerard cute. the once over. The once over? Once my ass. This is at least five times. Alex could hear Gerard breathing hard, and he just needed a little push. So Alex took him to the base. 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 Oh no! No oh, fuck, Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gerard came, oh god. Just Gerard came down Alex's throat. Oh, and oh, Alex fuck. struggled to remain Just still. bros being dudes. <laughs> when Gerard finished, Alex pulled the rest of the way out and tried to catch his breath. He listened to Gerard give little <laughs> groans of pleasure. Alex stood and patted Gerard's shoulder. Feeling better? <laughs> Gerard hummed an affirmative. Mm -hmm. Glad to hear it. Meet me in the Beard Bros room in 15. <laughs> and with that, Alex walked out. Oh my the God. Holy shit. That was, that was Yay, excruciating. Perfect. That was the worst one. <laughs> Thank you for paying us oh, to Christ. do that. Thank you for the money. Hey folks, thank you so much for watching the second episode of Evid Beer Bros. The Raw Files, as well as the other fan facts we read but didn't air, are available on patreon.com slash superbeardbros for all patrons. Have a wonderful day.